Hey guys, DC here, and this is my review of Jumper John for the Apple Arcade on Apple TV. Alright, so we have the game loading up here. We're on the title screen. Just taking a look at uh, some of the settings here, and you can see there in the bottom right hand corner, this game uses the uh, Siri remote. Uh, but, you know, you know, I, I am, and I usually use the Steel Series Nimbus, and, and I'm using it right now. I, uh, you know, you know, I, I had some little hiccups here and there uh, when playing, so I actually ended up utilizing the Steel Series Nimbus and the um, the second generation uh, Siri remote for certain actions. So this game here, it looks like a, you definitely need um, the, the Siri remote, even though uh, you can play this game with the Steel Series Nimbus, but it was giving me some issues. It wasn't letting me submit any sort of actions like to talk or read anything. So I was using a lot, utilizing both here for this game. So uh, it's showing us here with the D-pad left and right just to walk around. So this is like a little tutorial. A button to jump. And it's weird, during the tutorial it does give me the, uh, the buttons for like a, a controller but just some of the actions just weren't working smoothly. So I was kind of going back and forth between the, the Nimbus and, uh, and the Siri remote. All right, and I'm jumping around here, learning how to play the game. I'm not sure what Jumper John is. I don't know if he's a ghost or something along those lines. See here, I, I kind of switched back to the Siri remote because it's not kind of coming up when I try to read. I pause the game really quick here to see the settings, see if I get some more control, uh, like a controller menu, but I don't. But we have equipment, we have items. So there is, you know, a little bit more to this than just your kind of standard uh, 2D scroller. And again, I'm so I was trying to just go ahead and uh, get this down. I wound up clicking on the Siri remote to get the uh, text to come up here. So forever here, one day at a time, is what the sign says. You know, I must say this game does move pretty smoothly. You know, the, the controls are pretty tight. You know, he, he uh, moves across the street pretty good here so I can't complain about that it's just the one sort of action the, the reading action was not working so well on my uh, Siri remote I mean on my still series Nimbus so Jacob is the other I guess ghost that's uh, there okay and I die for the first time there, just hitting the spike. Just kind of getting the uh, environment down a little bit. We're gonna head back over to the other side of the stage. Just seeing if there's anything that I missed. Oh, right, we have a little earthquake here. Now one thing they could have did was a little bit better on the voice acting. These are just screenshots and you kind of have to interpret a little bit what's going on. Maybe voice acting, who knows? I mean, these things, if they even speak, you know, English or whatever these things are, if they can even speak.
All right, so here I, I chose a uh, normal instead of timeless. N normal, uh, I think, comes back to haunt me a little bit here. Because this is chapter one, it, it was kind of a, an adjustment I had to make with the game. It's, it's 30 seconds where you're kind of running around to collect uh, feathers. I don't know if the rest of the game is like this or if it's just kind of like this stage. But um, it, it was pretty difficult as I as I kind of ran around trying to get through the stage while collecting feathers, you know, 30 seconds at a time. <laughs> Normally, for most of my little, you know, my gameplays, I, I'll do a, an easier mode, but I did normal for this and. It was a little bit more difficult than I thought. Okay, I can perform a spin attack. And now I can do like a double type jump move with the spin, which I was looking for. So I probably should have tried just going down there. In retrospect, but you know, let's we'll see. I'll try to just kind of go ahead and get through the stage a little bit, collect some stuff. Extend my my timer out, but yeah, the, the whole timer thing does create a little bit of a uh, anxiety, especially you know, this game has so many different little. Uh, Kind of little crevices you can go down. There's so many different ways you could take it, so it's not just a straight linear kind of, uh, you know, stage that you're going through. There's like three options, like in every room, as far as which way, as far as which way you want to go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and die here again. the key so because I died there I got the key so I'm gonna go ahead I think this unlocks that door and we're still moving now we got the little blob things that would that, that have the spike on them so nothing to jump on those all right so we have another Jacob I think they're all Maybe name Jacob at this point. We have a little cloud room here. It's like a little sanctuary, I guess. A little fairy type creature, Corona. Coronia. Hopped out of there really quick, hopped it back in. Obtain mystery box for one souls. Why not? All right, in this game you, you can collect, I think sort of like, what is it? Mem mem I don't know if these are considered memories because our, our character here may be a ghost. But, you know, Apple Arcade, uh, one game that comes to mind is, uh, what, what's that game, Possessions, where you can kind of collect memories or little tokens, things like that. There's a few games like that, uh, actually, but, you know, it's something to add to the gameplay. 
something to collect, something to kind of extend out the gameplay. But here, see, there's so many different ways you can go, so I think this is just room after room. It just keeps on going up as far as where you can kind of collect and store stuff. So this game just definitely goes in a lot of different ways, different directions. All right, now we got the clock back on me. And it's, you know, it's not always super clear which way I should go and I keep uh, hitting the, the spike here. I think I'm gonna, do I try a different direction here? Let me see. Oh yeah, I see the little platform afterwards. But yeah, I tried getting through this stage a couple times, but it just doesn't seem to pan out for me. But uh, this Jumper John, this is a, this is a platform. Uh, doesn't seem like it, it's super deep, but you know, deeper than some of our other sort of um, uh, 2D scrollers. So some, this is something you can check out if you're a fan of these uh, type of games. That's my review. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you can't win if you don't play. Wait. Mm -hmm.